we're going to look now to the specification of uh, broadcast abstractions, which means that we are going to look at the interface, what kind of events we have, and the properties, the correctness properties of each um, abstraction. We start with best effort broadcast. So best effort broadcast has two events, a request event, which is a request event to broadcast a message. If we have here a BIP component, best ever broadcast component, so any other component can request to send a message in. And when a message is broadcast, so it will come out as an indication, which is a deliver event. Deliver, we specify the source and a message. Here we have. So, what are the properties of uh, best ever broadcast? The basic idea of best ever broadcast is that everything will work reliably as long as the sender is alive. So, everything is perfect unless the sender crashes. And what are the properties? The first property, we call it validity. And it is saying that if PI and PJ are correct processes, and PI broadcast a message. So this message is eventually delivered by PJ. So as long as the sender is correct, the message will be delivered by every correct process. This is called validity. The next property is node application, which means uh, no message will be delivered more than once, and no creation that no message uh, uh, are delivered no message is delivered unless uh, broadcast by somebody in the group. Okay, so let us now look to examples of um, best ever broadcast. And here is example. We have uh, four processes, P1 to P4, P2, P3, P4. Here is the execution timeline, and here are the events that are delivered. So he says that here is a broadcast event of message M by P1, his delivery event at P2 of message M uh, broadcast by P1. Um, so we have a broadcast here, a delivery, a broadcast here, a delivery here, a delivery here, and a crash here. This message did not arrive to P3. So the question is this is, is allowed by the properties that we just spe specified? So the answer is this is not allowed. The answer is that this is not allowed because the sender is correct, whereas the message is not arriving to a correct process here. And this violates the validity property. Let's look to another example. So he's in this example, P1 broadcast a message, then crashed, P2 delivers a message, the message is not delivered to P3, but it's delivered to P4. So this behavior is allowed, and the answer is yes. Why is that? Because there is nothing that guarantees an arrival of message if the sender crashes. And here we have a situation where the sender crash. We are only talking in this situation on correct senders. And here P1 crashes and therefore there is no guarantee of delivery of messages. Let us look now to reliable broadcast. So as we have seen, best effort broadcast gives no guarantee if the sender crashes. So now we would like to strengthen our properties so that we can give some guarantee even if the sender crashes as long as some correct process delivered the message. Okay, so reliable broadcast intuition, it is the same as best ever broadcast plus if the sender crashes, so ensure that all or none of the correct processes get the message. So as soon as one correct process gets the message, the 
reliable broadcast abstraction is obliged to deliver the message to all other correct processes in the system. Okay. Now we look to, to the specification. We have again a request uh, which is to broadcast a message and a delivery of the message uh, at the destination. And the properties we are going to look at is called um, RB1, RB2, and RB3, and RB4. And here they are. RB1 is exactly the same as the PIP property validity. If the sender is correct, all the receivers of a broadcast will deliver. And we have no duplication, we have no creation, but then we have this interesting property which we call agreement. So this is an extra property that we add now for the reliable broadcast abstraction. It says that if a correct node delivers a message, then every correct node delivers the message. So as soon as a message is delivered by a correct node and this node does not crash, then the message will be delivered by every other node. So we can refine this safety and liveness property that we just described before, which is the specification of the reliable broadcast, by weakening R1 without any effect. So remember R1 again saying P1 and PJ, PI and PJ are, if PI and PJ are correct, then any broadcast by PI is delivered by BJ. Let us not look to the others now. Now we can weaken this property as follows. So this is our new specification by a weaker validity property. What is this validity property is saying? Is saying if a correct process that does not crash broadcast a message in, then P itself will eventually deliver M. As long as the process, the correct process broadcast the message, it eventually is going to deliver the message. Now, this property, together with the agreement property here, will imply the original validity property. How come? If a correct process uh, PI deliver the message, so this property is saying if a correct node delivers M, then every correct node delivers M. So if a correct, if PJ is also correct, and because PI delivers the message, BJ will also deliver the message, and that is what is this property is saying. Okay, so these two are equivalent. It's just we now weakened um, the property of validity here to a weaker version just to separate the properties from each other. So let us see some examples of reliable broadcast. Um, is this allowed? A process broadcasts a message and then crashes. Nobody else, no process in the system delivers the message. And the answer is yes. Because reliable broadcast is talking about only if the sender is still alive and correct. But this is a case where the sender crashes, so it is fine that nobody, no correct process delivers anything. Now let's look to this situation. We have a broadcast, P1 crashes, P4 delivers and crashes. That is also fine because reliable broadcast abstraction guarantees delivery only if a correct process delivers the message. In this case, P4 crashes after the delivery. So there is no obligations for P2 and P3 to deliver the message. So if this is allowed now, we have a broadcast by P1. P1 is alive and well. P4 delivers the message, but not P2 and P3. Now, since P1 is well alive, P1 will eventually deliver the message, and therefore P2 and P3 are obliged to deliver the message, but this scenario does not violate this. So this is not allowed 
by the specification. So if this is allowed then, what we have, P1 is alive, it delivers the message, P2 delivers the message, P4 delivers the message, but not P3. Now P3 is considered a crash process and therefore there's no obligation to deliver the message before crashing. So this property, this scenario is also allowed. Now let us look to even strengthen the reliable broadcast abstraction one more step. And the rationale uh, behind this is that if some process delivers a message that is, that is broadcast, and then it delivers it to an application, and the application does something in the outside world. For example, it prints a message on a paper or withdraw money from an account. So the process delivers the message and then immediately crashes, but it causes side effect on the outside world. We would like to define a broadcast abstraction uh, that obliges a process that delivers a message to make sure that all other collect processes deliver the message. So the situation that we would like to avoid is as follows. Assume sender broadcasts a message. The sender fails. Some of the failed node deliver the message, but no correct node deliver the message. This is a situation where we really would like to avoid. As long as a failed node delivers the message, all other correct processes deliver the message. So uniform reliable broadcasts give you this intuition, which says if a failed node delivers, everyone must deliver. And by everyone, we mean correct processes. We cannot re revive uh, processes that already died. So here is a specification of a uniform reliable broadcast. It's like the interface is, is the usual one, a broadcast and deliver. And now we have changed only the uniform properties. We have changed the uniform properties. What are the uniform properties here? In this case, we say that if a message is delivered by any process, then all correct processes must deliver the message. So what we have now, if a message is delivered by a if a process delivers a message, then all correct processes deliver the message. So at this stage, we have uh, specified what is um, best effort broadcast, what is a rel reliable broadcast, and what is a uniform reliable broadcast. Remember, uniform reliable broadcast have guarantees only, also on processes that deliver the message and fail, all other correct processes has to deliver the message. And there's an issue that comes in this discussion, which what does it mean for a process to be correct? Uh, in this discussion now, when we're talking about, we assume there is a session. And during this session, processes are either correct or might crash within this session. We will come back to this issue again of um, when we look to the issue where processes can crash and come back to the system and come into different, we, we will call it different views or different stages of the system. But for now, you are running in a session and just correctness, a process correct within this session. It's a time period. Okay, thank you very much. Now let us look to uh, the implementation of these abstractions.